Let me tell you from the beginning. I was very sad while making your video. Let me tell you right away. I was browsing YouTube. And I came across a video like this. The video has been up for nearly 4 years. It was a very good video. But that's not the sad part. The comments caught my attention and I started reading. As far as I understood from the comments, the owner of the video, Paul, lost his life during the pandemic. I think there were some people in his family who lost their lives, at least that's what I understood from the comments. This was the last video he shared. And I wanted to honor Paul by making this video. This video is for Paul. First, we create a new composition. After making the composition name and the remaining settings, we click OK. We create a solid. The color doesn't matter. But I wanted it to be black. We add the gradient ramp effect to the solid we created. We change the name of the solid. We adjust the colors. We select the first color as purple. The second color as black. We select radial ramp. We adjust the centers as you see. And we make the ramp scatter 100. Now, we create a new solid. We make the color white. We apply the star burst effect to the white solid. We make the scatter 125, the grid spacing 25 and the size 20. Now, we add the light burst effect. The ray length value minus 70. We activate the color tick and adjust the color as you see. Now, we add the matte choker effect. We make the geometric softness 1 value 2.5. We set the choke value to minus 125. Now, copy the white solid. Set the scatter value of the star burst effect to 145. Change the phase to minus 1.5. Then, set the rotation value of the solid to minus 180. Change the color of the light burst effect to purple. Copy another white solid. Set the rotation value to zero. Set the scatter value of the star burst effect to 190. Change the phase value to minus 333. Change the color of the light burst effect to pink. Create an adjustment layer. Add the CC lens effect. Set its size to 150. Now select all layers except the background and make a pre-composition. Add the glow effect to the composition we created. Make the glow radius 220. Copy the glow effect. And make the radius 35. Perfect. If you want something different, you can apply the invert effect and change the colors. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I wish patience to Paul's relatives. He really did a great job. Thank you for that Paul. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be informed about new videos. See you in the next videos.